The Lozen family has been growing grapes and making wine here for more than 200 years. These vines are ungrafted and are 70, 80 or even 90 years old. The blue slate in the soil on the slopes of the Moselle Valley retains warmth and supplies the vines with minerals. Riesling wines from the Moselle are distinctive and can have a wide range of flavors. Sometimes there is a hint of anise or mango, even pineapple and grapefruit. The soil here yields very different bouquets. Each property has its own special qualities. The glorious landscape and fabulous vineyards attract crowds of tourists and wine lovers from around the world. But the region is under threat. Bulldozers are already working on the approach road for a 1.6 kilometer long highway bridge across the valley. Supporters argue it will improve the route from the Frankfurt area to the North Sea coast and that it will boost the area's economy and help create new jobs. But the winemakers fear it will change the microclimate, upset the water table and ultimately destroy some of the world's finest vineyards and landscapes. <laughs> Many wine experts have asked me why on earth are they building this lousy bridge? What can be done to stop it? It's great that not only locals are upset and concerned about this area's natural beauty, which is indeed spectacular, and they don't want to see it destroyed by this ghastly bridge. Building roads involves covering up the land with concrete and asphalt. Those in charge at the State Transport Ministry say the bridge has the backing of the state and federal parliaments and has been approved by the courts. The Loire and other beautiful valleys in France are regions where good wine grows and bridges have been built because people need them. Thousands of jobs depend on good infrastructure, and that includes roads. We also want to stop young people in the rural regions to the north and south and along the Moselle moving away because they can't find work. A bridge would ultimately be in the interest of the wine-growing areas as well. Although the municipal government has approved the plan and work is underway, people here haven't stopped fighting. They don't want the bridge, and they don't want trucks thundering overhead night and day. We say it must be stopped. What's at stake is just too valuable. We can't stand by as things are destroyed that should be preserved. If it really goes ahead, I'll move away. Just the time it takes to build it will be unbearable. The village of Uetzig would be directly under the bridge. And in nearby Bernkastel, people fear the tourists will stay away and choose unspoiled regions instead. There are many reasons to oppose the bridge. But polls show a clear majority of people in the Moselle region favor the bridge. Jobs come first, they say. And even many who used to oppose the bridge have given up hope of preventing its construction. I think it's too late. To be honest, I'm pleased there are autobahns, and we won't have to make a long detour to get our wine to Cologne or Bonn. Everybody will benefit. Some more so, others less. The viaduct is set to be built right above Ernst Losen's vineyard. He says it's hard to predict what damage it may do to his wines. Halting the project no longer seems feasible. It has too much support. The bridge is to be completed by 2014. 
and the romantic Moselle Valley will be a little less romantic.